Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a love reading where we look at what's coming your way in love in the next three months. What do you need to know? What can you expect? And who will you be dealing with? We're going to be looking at all of that in this reading. Um, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. And let's just jump right in and see what we have for you. Uh, for additional messages, you know, to look at your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, check out the description box. I have uh, listed in there all of the playlists for each sign. So you can check out those other placements and see if you have any other messages. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, please, for Pisces regarding love, Pisces, for the next three months for Pisces. Spirit, what can Pisces expect in love in the next three months? What can Pisces expect in love? in the next three months. Okay, we have sweet dreams. Your dreams are becoming reality. Fantasy dreams, imagination. What can Pisces expect in love? One more, please. What can Pisces expect in love in the next three months? Unexpected event, interesting. Unexpected shocking events have shaken things up. Bottom of the deck, divine timing. So what I see here is, um, actually the first thing I think of is a tower moment with positive outcomes. Um, hopefully I'm right about that. That there's something that maybe someone has been hoping for manifesting, perhaps, dreaming of. Um, and a tower kind of helps that become reality. Let's hope that that's the case. Spirit angels, guys, please, messages, please, please, for Pisces. There's a tower again. What does Pisces need to know regarding love in the next three months? What does Pisces need to know regarding love? the next three months. Let's see what we get for you. In what you can expect, we have the Knight of Swords and the Moon. There you are, Pisces. So maybe there's definitely some sort of revelation here taking place because I have the Moon and the Knight of Swords. So I'm getting almost like the truth. Okay, I heard the truth shall be illuminated. <laughs> Something with the truth, message, okay? What do you need to know? Oh, okay. Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. And who you might be dealing with. Three of Wands reverse, Eight of Wands reverse. Delays, delays, delays. Um, okay, overall energy, we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Something slowly coming together, something slowly being resolved or brought into harmony. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, wow, I picked up this deck and there's a tower at the bottom of the deck. What in the world is going on with this tower energy? Spirit clarity, please, for Pisces. What do we need to know? about these energies. You could be dealing with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like there's going to be some sort of big reveal and that's what you can expect in the next three months. Like that's the main energy, right? Something that is going to come to light. So let's look at temperance, the overall energy. Why is temperance the overall energy? Why is temperance the overall energy? Why is temperance the overall energy? The hangman. Yeah, there's something here that's taking time. Yeah, three of wands. Whatever is happening in this connection or in love, Pisces, 
the main energy or the overall energy is telling me that there's something here to do with time. And that makes sense because at the bottom of the deck of the Oracle cards here is divine timing. And when I see the hangman and the three of wands, and the three of wands is reversed here, there's something that's just very slow or there's a waiting game that's happening here. Bottom of the deck, I have death, Scorpio energy. Tell me about this three of wands. Now it could be that someone's waiting. It could be that events are unfolding. It could be that divine timing is, you know, a necessary um, mechanism. I, there's a better word for that, but I can't think of it right now. It could be that someone's hesitating, waiting for the right time to do something. But when I see temperance with these three cards, other two cards, I'm thinking something that's taking time to develop. Let's see if we can get some insight. Why the three of wands? Why is the three of wands here? Ten of wands. Well, there's some sort of burden, obligation, something that's slowing someone down. There's the four of swords at the bottom of the deck. So, okay, that could mean all kinds of things. I feel like someone's just kind of, um, someone is um, weighed down and so they can't move very quickly. Okay, so what can you expect? Let's go down here, Knight of Swords and the Moon. What can you tell us about this Knight of Swords and the Moon? Why is the Knight of Swords here? with the moon, the lovers, Gemini energy. Why is the Knight of Swords here with the moon? Why is the Knight of Swords here with the moon? Knight of Pentacles, again, the slowest knight, but then I have the, the fastest knight, the Knight of Swords. Can I get one more for the Knight of Swords and the Moon? This is about a partnership. Whatever this truth revelation is, Four of Cups, what's this? Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Moon. What do we need to know about the Moon? I wanna know specifically, like, Spirit, what do we need to know about this Moon? What do we need to know about the Moon? Okay. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like what, what this moon is about is, I, it could be a masculine energy that you're dealing with, King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The sign is not important. I feel like this is someone that has kept something to themselves here. And it's important for them to speak up. And I have the Queen of Swords after that, so yeah. This is a person that needs to have a I don't know, a very important conversation, a conversation that clears the air, etc., etc. I feel like this is someone that wants to make some sort of an offer. Um, but then I have the Four of Cups here. So it's almost like whatever offer this is, they're, they're thinking that someone might not be interested or... I don't know, it's almost like rejection. This is an offer that's taken a long time to make. This could be, um, with the lovers, there's, there's, this could be a divinely guided connection, right? You might not even know this person, Pisces. Um, like you don't see them coming with the moon and the knight of swords. Let's see what else we get because I feel like this is very important. Tell me about this knight of swords. Tell me about the knight of swords. Why is the knight of swords here? Nine of swords. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Someone's worried about this message. Nervous. 
they're nervous to come forward. Is that why it's in? Probably because they don't know how you're going to react. Tell me about the moon. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for the moon, please? Why is the moon here? The hermit, Virgo energy. So when I see the hermit and the moon, I think of someone keeping their thoughts to themselves, keeping their plans to themselves. There's secrets here. There is something that's not being communicated. This could be like a secret admirer or someone that keeps their feelings hidden because I have the moon here with the hermit. And again, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. So this is someone that's thinking about what to say, thinking about what communication, you know, the communication that needs to, you know, the truth that needs to be told here. So that's what you can expect in the next three months. I feel like someone is going to reveal a truth. This could be somebody that you know already or someone that you don't know at all. I see both ways so far. I, I don't have anything here that tells me otherwise, especially with the lovers here and this whole idea of divine timing. Um, this could be like a past life connection for some of you. You could be dealing with a Gemini as well. Okay, so what, what do you need to know about all of this? Well, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is someone that's guarded, someone that's holding on to something, someone that's holding back also because they're guarded. And then I have the Queen of Wands. So it's almost like um, there's attraction, there's creativity, there's passion with the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands tends to act. They're very bold and assertive. But then I have the Four of Pentacles. So opposites here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. Ten of Swords again. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Oh, I got two. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, and then the Four of Swords again that comes out. And once again, opposites here. Six of Swords, the Chariot. This is a move of some sort coming forward, moving on, moving forward. After an ending, perhaps, the Ten of Swords. But then why the Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? There's the tower. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Um, okay, hold on. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Queen of Pentacles, there's the pair. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. The Tower and the Four of Swords. Very similar to the Knight of Swords and the Moon. Why? The Moon could be this Four of Swords, right? Something that's not being communicated. This is someone that's quiet, reflecting, healing, no action, no communication. And the Tower is almost like this Knight of Swords. Something explosive. A reveal. A revelation. I feel like a tower is moving things forward. Tell me about this tower. What do we need to know about this tower? Seven of Wands. So there's resistance guarded. Okay, so this is okay. Bottom of the deck, the higher font, Taurus energy. A commitment could be something that, uh, how do I say this? Someone could be held up with obligations. Now this seven of wands is reminding me of this four of cups. All of this is related. I'm just, tr I haven't made the connection yet, but all of these energies are related. This Ten of Swords, I feel, is some sort of difficult ending. Ten of Wands, right? I feel like this Ten of Wands needs to be 
dropped, this burden. Whatever weight this is would need to be dropped. I feel like as soon as someone drops this weight, whatever they're carrying with the Four of Pentacles here, holding on to, whatever they're carrying and holding on to needs to be dropped in order to make a move. Right? Because this, this is someone that cannot, the hangman and Three of Wands, someone that's not making moves. Four of Swords. That's why the tower is here. Because there's obstacles, seven of wands. There's obstacles, challenges, there's resistance. And that resistance could be, or an obstacle could be in the form of another commitment. And then I have the king and queen of pentacles here. To me as a reader, king and queen of pentacles are a married couple. They're also very risk adverse. They are not really, the queen of pentacles, queen of wands are like oil and water. The queen of pentacles is practical, methodical, no rushing. Tell me about the chariot. I feel like this is someone that wants to either leave a partner or head towards their ideal partner. Can I get one more for the chariot, please? Yeah, 10 of cups. Two of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is someone that wants to move forward towards their ideal person, I hope. This isn't them going after, like leaving a family. Could be. Another 10. So this is all about like leading up to something big. 10 is like the pinnacle, the completion number. And 10 of cups is usually like happy endings, right? You, you got everything you ever dreamed of. I feel like this is tied to an ending. This getting what you want is tied to an ending. But I feel like the tower is here to force this ending. What can you tell me about this 10 of swords? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, Nine of Cups, literally what I just said. The Ten of Swords is leading to wish fulfilled. Okay, so what do you need to know about this person that you're dealing with? Why, why is the Three of Wands reverse with the Eight of Wands reverse? Nine of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands reverse with the Eight of Wands reverse? the world. So once again, this idea of completion, cycles, things coming to a close, making moves with the Knight of Wands, a new opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles, etc, etc. Pisces. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. The person you're dealing with or the person coming towards you is the one that's going to make a big move, I feel, with the Knight of Wands. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Five of Wands. Hmm. This person has no idea. Okay. There's that doubt. Seven of Pentacles and then the Page of Cups. So I'm getting Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. Very similar energy here. I feel like this is somebody that is competing for your affection or your attention. Um, I feel like they're trying to think of what to give you to make this move successful. Yeah, Four of Wands. Now, again, I don't know if you already know this person. Um, let me move this down. I don't know if you already know this person um, or if there's someone completely new. I still see it both ways. And it's funny because your person has the nine of wands. So I feel like they're the ones with the, with the issue. The, the three of wands reverse is also on their side. So I feel like this waiting game is your person's fault in a way. Um, it's almost like this waiting game is, is something that they're the ones making this slower. And also I feel like they're the ones revealing themselves to you. Um, this big revelation, I feel like it's going to be this person. Now, I hope this is a good reveal, right? I hope that this is 
a reveal that is um, positive. <laughs> I really hope that it is. Because towers are usually difficult. Towers are usually difficult, so, you know, that's probably why the Five of Wands is here. When this person is able to give themselves to you with the Six of Pentacles, there might be some sort of issue, struggle here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Let me see if I can get one. Can I get some more insight into the Ten of Wands, please? Oh, okay. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. So they have something to get off their chest. The truth is the 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 weight. So I feel like this this Ten of Wands is symbolizing someone's carrying something within them that they can't keep carrying, right? The truth is very important here, King and Queen of Swords. This could be anything. This could be something that you weren't expecting. There's a high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Secrets. This could be a secret revealed. Um, I feel like there's an ending happening for this person that you're dealing with. It's like there's something that they're going through in their own personal life that needs to end, a cycle that needs to end because they have the world. There's this, this is a cycle that needs to end in order for them to move. Knight of Wands, the Chariot, etc., etc. That's why the Tower or this Ten of Swords is tied to the Nine of Cups. So I feel like if they, if this is a secret that, a secret that's revealed, right? Um, like let's say they confess something to you. Um, or it's a heartfelt confession or something like that. They admit their feelings, something like that. Then this would lead to a connection perhaps between you two. And that would be something this person wants. Nine of cups, ten of cups. Ace of cups is here, knight of pentacles, you know. Um, I feel like that's what, where all of this is heading. Like, the, you know, it's like this secret, this secret revealed... Or the reveal of this secret is going to set things in motion. So that's what I have for you, Pisces, for the next three months. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.